This is Dave McCain with Right Tree Genealogy. I'm doing a quick tip Tuesday on little features and adjustments you can make on Family Tree DNA that not everybody sees. So let's go over to Family Tree DNA. So I'm on my uh, personal page here. And I look at this as my Y DNA is at the top, my mitochondrial DNA is in the middle, and my autosomal DNA is in the bottom position here and then of course added tests well there's this little button called customize dashboard and you can rearrange your dashboard so I want to have my autosomal at the top I want my Y DNA second and my mitochondrial third so that's all you do is dra drag and drop or put it like this if you want to have it in this kind of order so you can actually make those changes that's one little feature you can do and then after you make that change, and I'm going to go ahead and do what I had there before. So autosomal is at the top, Y DNA, and mitochondrial DNA. That's the order I want to have it. And then you hit your exit rearrange. A second little feature here on Quick Tip Tuesday is add quick links. So in if you depending on what tests you have, you can actually add different features at click blocks uh, you can have at the top. So for instance you're wanting to do the haplo tree button that you can click quickly uh, you can click here you say you want to see your block tree you can click there for the y dna for instance and then if you go to the top of this on the family find you say i want to look at the chromosome browser and i want to have my matrix turned on and family trees only family tree there and on mitochondrial you want to do the same thing you want to do your haplo origins you hit save and now look what happens. You have all these quick links at the top of your page that you can easily click and go to them. So let's just say you want to look at the Family Find Matrix. So you click this button here now and it brings up your Family Find block and you can actually add any of these individuals that are in this table over here and add them to this one to do a matrix. You can look at your haplo origins and your haplo snips. So if I go to this one, again, you don't have to click a multiple menus. You can simply go straight into this. So when this loads at the top page, it goes all the way down. It just strikes, takes me straight to that. If I back up to this dashboard setting, I can go back into customize uh, and I can change this uh, back to rearrange for instance and I say you know what I, I kind of like to have this back at the top and exit that and then I go back into my uh, quick links and click on one and go uh, you know what I just want to edit this and I want to remove it so then it gives you the option you can have up to five at the top of this page then it gives you the option to say what ones you want if you then you can click on to this you can actually turn them all back off so I don't want any of those to pop up and save boom you just have your little link block here in this quick tip Tuesday just to show you a few features that not everybody knows there you can always customize some of these websites and this is one of those situations where family tree DNA gives you some options if there's certain things you look at all the time thanks for watching this video please consider subscribing or watching one of the videos at the top of the screen here and talk to you next time